with Formation. We're here with Avaya today as one of their leading cloud providers. Uh, here at UC Expo, talking to lots of existing Avaya clients, lots of net new business. Um, we, we predominantly focus in the mid-market, uh, and we've got a great track record in cloud, which Avaya are doing very well and making a lot of noise about just now. Cloud is obviously a major thing for them, particularly as uh, kind of throughout the course of 2018. And it's all about the fact that Avaya are very close, shoulder to shoulder with their with their with their partners like ourselves to enable us collectively to deliver cloud to their to their customers and to our customers. I think Avaya are making our job a lot easier by uh, the, the running some big promotions just now. You know, we talked about the loyalty together promotion, looking at CS1K. They're bringing some of the more legacy and kit into that. So, you know, we we as a, a cloud business, when we go and talk to an Avaya customer as one of the leading cloud partners, we have a very good success rate of converting those into the new world. Avaya, their messaging, the promotions they've got, they make it commercially attractive, they're building some great products and great applications. Equinox are now coming out. Um, you know, I think the, the, the landscape is really set for Avaya to do very well in that environment, and we as one of the leading cloud partners for them are, are really doing well in, in that. Is that the, they've got some very clear promotions to both incentivize their existing customers, but also net new customers to consume cloud services through them. They also have made a big investment in their territory account management team so that we can go into meetings and they can have a, a face and a voice and a relationship directly with Avaya. You're, um, you're looking at a mature product set, so it's, it's one that's known, it's one that's trusted, it's one that's been developed in R&D with a huge amount of investment. Um, it's one with a track record, yet it's been virtualized to enable us to deliver it in the way we deliver it through cloud and through virtualization. And I think to that point, actually, whilst you're, you know, that you were focusing on more products and not technical, I think where Vive do really separate themselves out, and certainly in the mid-market, is the fact they allow us to build out virtual private cloud environments, which from security, from a control, you know, if you're bringing up certain dot software releases, you can do that at a time that a customer chooses. You're not based around doing a wholesale shift of your entire base at the same time. And I think that particular technical aspect has been really well played by Avaya. And certainly when we talk to customers in the space we're in, you know, the, the, the mid-market, uh, it, it's, it's a really valuable thing to be able to actually uh, to be able to provide and sell. The challenges within the market or, or general trends we're seeing in the market, first off, everyone is interested in consuming via cloud methods rather than necessarily investing in their on-premise, with the odd exception. So they're very, they're, 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 the, the, the general market is very keen to adopt cloud and software-based communication services. They're very keen to kind of basically build environments that aren't necessarily single vendor. And I think um, from, on that front, Avaya have probably changed from wanting to own the whole end to end to understanding that they are a component of the, of the solution. Um, and so from that perspective, it's, it's opened up the APIs, the capability of integration into customer ex existing infrastructure is that much stronger. So yeah, we're, we're seeing the customers being very, very keen to adopt.